Well, I finally did it. After almost four months of experimenting and deleting content and sending emails and chatting with YouTube support, I finally got my AdSense account approved. This process took almost four months, so I was getting really frustrated by it. Hey everyone, it's Tech Dad here, and if you've been watching my channel, you might have noticed that I posted a video a couple months ago about how I could not get monetized, how I was stuck on step two of the monetization process, which is creating an AdSense account and linking it to your YouTube channel. Channel. Like I said, I was stuck for almost four months, but I finally got this thing approved as of yesterday, and so we're on to step three. But I want to talk about how I finally got this thing to go through. I want to talk to you about how I got into this AdSense mess in the first place and how it finally got resolved. So let's get into it. Okay, so I started this YouTube channel back in September of 2024. I'm brand new to YouTube, never done this whole content creation thing before. And I was doing some research about what you needed to get monetized for YouTube, and I saw that you needed to have an AdSense account. So of course, before I even created the channel, I jumped onto AdSense and I started making an AdSense account with my normal generic personal email address. However, I didn't finish setting it up because as I continued to do research, I read that, oh, you shouldn't make an AdSense account. You should apply directly through YouTube Studio once you've met the monetization criteria. So I stopped setting it up. I just closed the browser, didn't mess with it again after that. Well, that's very important information because I think that comes back to haunt me later. Okay, so then I started my channel. I did really well. I met the monetization criteria in about 60 days. Got the 1,000 subscribers and the 4K watch hours. So I was really excited. So then I could apply for monetization. I got through step one where you just accept the terms and conditions. Then I applied for an AdSense account and I applied using the Gmail that is associated with my YouTube channel. Well, my AdSense was denied in just a few hours and I was really shocked. And you can look at my previous video in the description below if you want to see how that whole nightmare went. Okay, so let's talk about what I did to solve it. So the first thing I tried to do was chat with YouTube support. And so it's 2025. Some of the older videos don't talk about YouTube chat. I don't think they had it a couple years ago, at least not for folks that weren't monetized. Well, they have it now, but it doesn't really do any good. And so I've got a lot of comments on my video about how this YouTube chat just repeats the same jargon over and over again. They don't really help you. And they say that they can't help you. They can't pinpoint why your AdSense account was denied. So you're just kind of stuck trying to figure it out on your own. So I spent a lot of time deleting some of my videos, thinking that they weren't adhering to AdSense policies. I chatted and chatted and chatted. I set up a few different email accounts, closed down AdSense accounts, and reapplied using new emails. I even tried to set up an AdSense account through a relative's name and address, and that still did not work. So I got really frustrated, almost gave up, wasn't sure what to do, just took a break from applying for a while. But I kept checking the comments on that old video about how I couldn't get monetized, and finally I got one that said, hey, look, Google pretty much keeps track of any Anything you've ever done regarding AdSense on any computer and they've got log of it and that made me go back and think about huh I remember when I started setting up that AdSense account but I never completed it and I know I didn't complete it because I checked it several times and normally if you've set up an AdSense account and then closed it you'll get a message saying hey your AdSense account has been closed with this Gmail and if you've never set one up with that email it'll say that nope you don't have an AdSense account associated with this email and that's what I always got with that one so I never tried to mess with that email so I thought, you know what? Maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and use that email and see what happens. So I closed all my other AdSense accounts, the one I made through a relative, the one I made for myself, and a couple others. And I just applied through this normal email. Well, a few hours later, boom, approved, done. So a couple factors here to know. As soon as I submitted under that email for an AdSense account, I got an email saying that, hey, your information has been changed. And I don't think I've ever received that email before. So I know that Google had some kind of record of some sort of AdSense thing going on in the background with this email. Now, the second thing to note is that I have moved recently. Obviously, this is not my old office. And so I thought it might have been because I changed addresses, but I tried changing the address in my other emails and other accounts, didn't fix anything. The only thing that worked was closing everything down and then reapplying with this old email where I had originally tried to set up an AdSense a long time ago. And just like that, it fixed it. So it's weird because I don't have 100% 
100% proof of exactly of what fixed the issue. And that's the problem with YouTube support is they just don't tell you what's wrong. So you have to experiment and figure it out on your own. But I'm telling you, if you're stuck on step two, do not delete your content. I deleted a whole bunch of my content. That was a waste of time. My content wasn't the issue. And if you've ever messed with AdSense at all ever, you're gonna wanna make sure that you've closed down every single account that you've got and maybe try applying on the original email that you've used to create an AdSense account at any point in time. That's how I fix it. I hope this helps. Leave a comment below if you try this and it works. Other people are frustrated by this too and really wanna get this issue solved. That's all I got for you. If you liked this content and it helped, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.